My name is Nat Birchall, I'm a saxophone player, I've been seriously listening to music for 40 years. The most important thing to me about music is sound, that is the first and most important thing, everything else comes second. Um, I'm primarily a jazz musician. And in any music you need a certain amount of technique to play. But still, no matter how much technique you need, sound is the most important thing. And uh, as I've learnt to play over the years, the people that, whose music has spoken to me the most have been the musicians who have a sound that uh, speaks to me that captures me and as a saxophone player the most important musician in that respect is John Coltrane I think Manchester's a, a city which is full of uh, creative and individual musicians. Um, people into lots of different types of music and uh, um, often people with their own, own vision. And I think Nat is one of the, um, the most striking of those musicians. Uh, he has a, a very singular um, sound and um, uh, a great vision of, of music and, and um, what he wants his music to be. I met Nat um, at a gig in another band and then I got the phone call from him to record an album, the first album with him which was Sacred Dimension and then after that we did quite a few gigs and we had a very good kind of working relationship, we had a very good working relationship and I, I'm mainly an improviser, I'm an improvising musician and composer um, and I have my own trio so it's, it's really exciting to play Nat's music and I believe Nat's music is actually truly, truly modal music in the sense that each tune has its own manner, its own, its own mood which a lot of modal music does not have what, what people call modal music. It, it's actually mainly mono, monochordal, it only has one chord. But Nat's music is actually modal, truly modal, um, in a sense, and taps into an ancient sense that, that, that other music does not. And, and that's a real challenge to play.
Thank you. Uh, we're going to play uh, a song from um, one of our albums. I forget which one. This is a song called uh, Ancient World. Ancient World. The best thing about working with Nat is I think he's thought very carefully about who's in his band so a lot of the thinking's done prior to the band members so once he's decided who's going to play like he's decided that he wants me to play bass he's very generous with the music and he just wants everybody to bring their own thing to the music which you know obviously he um, has the chords and he has the melody and he tells you to play that at first but then to take it wherever you want, wherever you want to go because he wants to hear you, he wants you to be honest with it and that's what I really like about playing with Nat, the fact that he wants to hear 
the different individuals come out in the music. That's very good to me. I work in improvised music, playing often very free music. Um, but in this, in this case, we're working in a kind of a modal jazz style. Uh, but the good thing about working with Nat is he encourages the, the musicians who he chooses to express themselves in a personal way and um, to express their personalities through their playing. So um, I can be myself within the structure of the tunes that Nat give, gives us to play. The first music I was into was uh, reggae music and there was something about that music that uh, spoke to me. Something about the sounds of the instruments and the way they're played that I kind of connected to. And when I started to play saxophone, I started to get into jazz because jazz is like the ultimate saxophone music as I heard, so I started to study jazz music. And when I listened to John Coltrane, I could hear the sounds of the, uh, the Jamaican saxophone players who I loved to listen to, like Tommy McCook, Cedric Brooks. I could hear that same sound in their music, so I connected with it. The way he writes, um, he comes up with these uh, kind of structures, basic structures in some cases, with um, uh, particular characteristics which um, nonetheless allow all the musicians to uh, find their own part and to, to really feel free when they're playing. And I really try to play so that I'm not thinking about what I'm playing. I'm trying to let the music happen on its own and not really influence it or get in the way of the music. So the music just comes out at the right time, the right note at the right time. And hopefully if I practice, the music can come out without my hindrance, if you will. The music is beautiful, it makes people happy and I think one of the main things about the set is that it, it uplifts people um, and people do feel the spirit of the music. And that's, that's the main thing about Nat's music that I think is, is important that people, people should and do carry away with them.